Alrighty, so we have Dominic Reyes versus Jiri Prohadska. So Prohadska has a 3 inch reach advantage over Reyes. He's undefeated in his last like 10 fights or something like that. He has lost in 5 years. He's on a pretty solid run. Reyes, on the other hand, has lost 2 in a row, and before that he was undefeated. So, you know, interesting to see the interviews and stuff coming into this, because Reyes has always had a pretty solid mentality, so I'm interested to see how he, how he shows up. I wouldn't imagine it'd be too much different than before the Jones fight. Right, on the feet, Dominic Reyes, he's a southpaw. He's mostly, well, I say a lot of his offense is coming from the left-hand side. He likes to throw the straight left. He likes to throw the, the high kick, the body kick, when he's versing orthodox opponents. Yeah, most, I'd probably say about 90% of his offense comes from that left side. If he ever does throw something like a left hook, I mean, sorry, a right hook, or a just a jab, I th it normally is followed by something from that left side. He doesn't generally just throw the right hand just by itself. For Hadska, he is pretty unorthodox on the feet. He does a lot of weird stuff with his hands, with his arms. You know, he's always trying to disguise his, uh, his strike and entries. Like, also just disguise the way he's going to pop out his jab. Mostly, he does throw singular strikes. And he is looking... He has a nice jab. He throws it from the hips or just from whatever angle he feels like throwing it from. Has a nice straight right. Uh, put together, I think, the first combination of the fight against... Ustami and he caught him so you know but mostly he is throwing just singular strikes he does have his hands low at all times he does rely on his head movement to evade strikes um and yeah he will switch stance at times he doesn't generally do too much in southpaw when he does switch he's kind of just i think downloading information or whatever because yeah he doesn't generally look to throw too much when he does switch to southpaw so it is you know an opportunity when Prohadska does switch southpaw for Dom to use his jab or just you know sit down the one two because I don't think Prohadska's reflexes are, or reactions are as good as they are in orthodox and even in southpaw he does keep his hands low so yeah it is an opportunity to catch him when he does switch southpaw because I don't think he's too offensively minded in southpaw I don't think he's too dangerous in southpaw honestly for Dominic Reyes, he had trouble with Jan when he was blitzing forward throwing combinations. When you do push him back, he will just kind of cover up. If he's not going to throw the counter two, he's just looking to cover up and just kind of let you finish your combination and then look to get back on the front foot. And that was kind of where he fell behind on the volume against Blahovic and eventually, you know, got impatient and then he overextended and Jan caught him. Probably the favorite punches of Reyes would be the counter two or the counter uppercut when his opponent is getting too aggressive when they're close in distance. He, he looks for that most of the time. He caught Jones with that a few times. In the grappling for these two, both these guys aren't huge offensive uh, wrestlers but do have good anti-wrestling. Prohadska has a good sprawl but you know when you when you start attacking a single leg on him I don't think his balance is very good or like in the clinch when you start moving his weight around you cut you start disrupting his uh, weight distribution i think his balance isn't very good or very natural in the clinch for dominic reyes he has very good takedown defense he has the uh he will he will once you do get him down or once you get him on his knees he will look for that left overhook or just a strong whizzer to defend the double leg or just to get back up to his feet and then you know screwed his hips out and then pretty much sprawl on the double leg while he's holding that whistle or the right overhook still. He also has good takedown defense on the fence. He, you know, they, they call it like great the cheese or whatever. He's also very aggressive with his hand fighting, looks to break the clinch up immediately. He has Travis Brown elbows when opponents just stalling on a double leg on the fence. And yeah, like solid takedown defense. Alright, so how these guys win fights? So for Dominic... Reyes. He has considerable power in his left hand, like he's got some decent power, he's got good movement, he's able to keep that up for 25 minutes. He's good at striking on the back foot, which is, you know, he's, he's quite an unusual look for a lot of 205ers, but so is Prohadska. So, yeah. He has good takedown defense, good get-ups, and, you know, yeah, he is an athlete. He, he, has a, he has solid athleticism that does help him out a lot with his takedown defense. 
For Prohadska, he has good distance management. He used to have trouble with that in Ryzen, but he seems to have improved his distance management. He doesn't let opponents close the distance and get in the pocket with him as often. And, you know, he he uses length quite quite well, which he's done that only quite recently. He does have raw power as well, you know, in his hands, I think he absolutely has the power to put out Reyes, put out anyone really. And he's very fast, he's very explosive, and he's able to keep that endurance for five rounds, and he's able to keep that explosiveness up for five rounds. Alright, so for Dominic Reyes, how he loses fights is that his output generally slows in rounds three, four, five, and also most of the time he is fighting off his back foot, so, you know, can look sometimes, and that's I think how he lost the John Jones fight, was that he was fighting off the back foot the whole time and John was advancing. And generally, if the strikes are pretty even and it's pretty competitive on the feet, they just generally give it to the person who's on the front foot. They don't put too much thought into it, really. Uh, and also, yeah, in the Vulcan fight, Vulcan was advancing, and a lot of people did score that for Vulcan. I scored it for Reyes because I thought he was doing much better work off his back foot than Vulcan was doing. I don't think Vulcan was landing too much. But yeah, uh, it's what it, it is what it is. For Pahadska, he's pretty heavy on his lead leg. He doesn't check leg kicks as well. Southpaw vs. Orthodox stance is uh, beneficial here for Pahadska. He isn't going to be, you know, Reyes can go for those inside leg kicks, but or the the lead leg outside leg kick, but it's just not as effective as the Orthodox vs. Orthodox low calf kick. But yeah, also once you do get him on his back, he is he does look to be a bit of a uh, fish out of water. He doesn't seem to have too much off his back, and he doesn't have the greatest balance when defending takedowns, so it could be a problem going forward. Reyes isn't too much of a wrestler, but he does have a bit of a wrestling background. And Prahadska, I just don't generally trust him as a person. Uh, you know, he did against Brandon Halsey, he like stuck up his neck, and like uh, if anyone's seen that, Hello Japan guy, <laughs> like that's pretty much what Prahadska did versus... Uh, Halsey, I, I can't remember what he did because I taped the fight ages ago, but I'm pretty sure he just stuck his neck up and just waved to somebody or some shit like that. So yeah, I think he does have a bit of a bit of brain fart moments in fights, and I think, you know, you can't really have that at the top level of the UFC. But I do think he has the speed advantage here. I think he's a little bit faster than Reyes. So yeah, we'll get into the pass to victory. For Reyes, uh, look for that counter too as he's blitzing forward, trying to land his own offense. When he does go to Southpaw, look uh, to, yeah, just just blitz on him. Just land a few combinations. He doesn't, gen he's pretty uncomfortable in Southpaw, in my opinion. At distance, look for the inside leg kick, the lead leg, low calf kick, body kicks, head kicks in that orthodox or Southpaw stance. Uppercut, if he's being too aggressive and he's, you know, waving his chin in the air or he's doing some ag exaggerated head movement or whatever, what have you. Uh, but yeah, look for that as he's closing distance. But also, mix in the wrestling if you're having trouble on the feet. If he's, you know, too much of a puzzle to solve, just look to mix in the wrestling. Uh, clinch game in general, look to just slow down the fight a little bit if you're having trouble on the feet with his speed. Alright, so for Jiri, look to counter the straight left of Reyes with combos. That's what Jan had so much success with. Also, just uh, put the jabs out keep the teeps flicking out just to keep the volume up just because Reyes isn't a huge volume guy while well, he he is in the first few rounds but if you just keep the volume up on him uh, you can make some competitive first round a uh, few first rounds and you know I could I could I think you could take over as the fight goes on also you know and the combination with a body kick just Jan Blachowicz pretty much the game plan of Jan Blachowicz if you can <laughs> replicate that because yeah he did have a lot of success against Reyes more cess than uh John Jones all right but yeah the body is open for the body kicks against Reyes and the teeps teeps are open against Reyes he does have that long body and he keeps a high guard on the back foot so yeah look for that all right so how I see the fight plan out all right so this is, this is a really intriguing fight in my opinion I, I not I'm not sure how the fight starts, it could either be really slow, really uh, low paced, or just very extremely high paced. I don't think it's going to be in the middle, in the first two rounds. I think Jury is a fast starter, so I think he will bring it out of Dom, like the volume, and 
yeah, I'm hoping for that. Because, yeah, Dom will be fighting off the back foot. I can see him having success with the counter two as Jerry is blitzing in. I think uh, Reyes is going to catch Prohadska as he's coming in quite a bit. Also see him having success with the inside leg kick, the body kick, the high kicks, just the kicking game in general at distance against Prohadska. And just kind of racking up the volume while Jiri is uh, doing, you know, those mannerisms that he does and just kind of waiting a little bit too much for Reyes. See, I, I just think Reyes has more ways to win. I think he can mix in the wrestling if he wants. I think he could definitely have success with that. I think he beats him on the outside. Yeah, I just think Reyes is going to win here. So... That's the prediction. I think Reyes wins, and we'll have a look at the betting lines. Alrighty, so Reyes is a slight underdog at the moment. Jiri is a slight favourite. I think Reyes should be... I think the the um, line should be flipped here. I think Reyes should be a slight favourite, and yeah, Jiri should be an underdog here. I think anything above 180 $1.80, or whatever that is, just anything on plus money for Dominic Reyes... Anything at a pick him for Dominic Reyes, I think that's value. I do think he finishes Prohadska, I think he KOs him. So I'm interested to see that inside the distance line, I bet, yeah, I bet it's just going to be pretty much the same. I don't see this fight going the distance. But yeah, I do think Dominic Reyes does win this fight. 